Welcome Trolls. <laughs> Hi, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for the ongoing support, especially in this time of crisis. Hang tight everyone. We're going to see some positive changes when we get through all of this together. Let's head off to the surface of the moon and look at some real crazy stuff like buildings on the moon. Could it exist? I believe they do. And I believe what I captured on the surface of the moon is an inevitable proof that there was construction on the moon. No denying it. Let's continue on in the video and take a really good look at the surface and of the findings of some of the constructed, what I believe are constructed areas, like this here. Objects aligned side by side on same heights and levels, running across flat surfaces and over mountains, all connected. There's a theme, a pattern on the surface where we can see high, high altitude construction, both scaling like here on Earth, lines that are running to and from from hundreds of miles and kilometers away to different levels and each level we see an adjustment to the constructed areas or surface to adjust and adapt to the terrain that's why we see a lot of what looks like bridges and lines because there's just no way of getting around the surface of the moon unless you're probably on those lines whatever they may be if you take my videos and go and compare it to pixels, you'll never see the same thing. This is not a pixel. There are no pixels here on this image. And you can very easily see that a pixel is a square that forms itself over top of the image, but on a layer in the image. Pixels are not inside of the images. It's what forms over top of the image. Flashing lights, we hear NASA talking about explosions on the surface of from asteroid or meteor strikes. I don't believe it. I don't believe they all are meteor strikes. If I'm seeing um, the surface light up when a light lights up on the surface elsewhere, well, sorry, that's a light system. That means it's constructed, that we're not looking at something as crazy as what they say is just, you know, flashes of light that the astronauts were seeing once they went up. That's a lot of bullshit. I'm telling you, there are explosions on the moon happening and occurring all the time. They're under the haze. And that's why they are hard to see. People are having a hard time to believe it. But once they see my videos, like, like you guys, you, you know it. You know that this is real. It's all hiding underneath that haze or thick cloud. I mean, there's an atmosphere on the moon. That's never been hidden, right? Supposedly there is one. Here's Copernicus Crater right on the top left there. And we're going to talk in great detail about certain lines that are running to an area where it looks constructed. There's an atmosphere on the surface. Let's show you just a real quick glimpse. I have so many videos now. I could show you the crater. I'll show you this one here, which is just um, colors on the surface, like an electrical fire, if you want, right? That's what we're seeing. This used to be really hard to explain, but I've explained it so many times. Watch this. We're looking at structuring, natural or not. There's a line. Look at the two between the two right arrows. They're going face to face across this massive unknown structural, natural or not, object. Let's leave it at that. Now this one, I want you to see that it is crossing paths. The two yellow arrows with the two white arrow line. Proof it is not ejected on the surface. I'm telling you, this is up in the air. And these light sources is what the lines are going to and from. Possibly an energy source. Maybe that's what's making the moon so bright. You know, it really is thanks to the trolls. And I'm not kidding you guys. At one point, I started showing you guys a lot of details and truth. But then, seriously, seriously, the trolls started questioning my ways of research and that, you know, it's just on the moon, you're seeing it, you're not seeing it in the sky. And then I went and got an infrared camera. And here is the first and only major turn that I saw a satellite do. Ooh, hold on, satellites don't turn in the sky. They really do not. So 
It's the first directional change with an infrared camera in the sky over Montreal, Quebec. And then people said, well, you need a video to prove that there's actually something really up out there. Here, here you go. <laughs> this is the one. And then they say, yeah, but is that the only lights you you saw? Were there other incidents of lights that you saw on the surface of the moon? It's just repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. So what I do is I document all these captures and we're all the way down to being able to analyze the details even here from Earth. So imagine what big space associations are capable of seeing up there in space. Can you imagine that? New James Webb Telescope is coming. Wow, um, that's a bomb, right? It's fully equipped, uh, bad term to use. It's fully equipped with infrared and every bloody filter you ever could ever dream of and imagine. Other instances of lights flashing and, yes, and underneath a cloud and haze. And now hang on, there's also fixed stationary objects that light up three in a row, right there, all proof that someone's up there. Thanks everyone. Houston, say again, please.